when you're building a website, you need to be thinking about the organization of your content. You don't want your layout to be too mixed and matched. This is where section and divs can massively help you out. I mean, it's not just about looking good and being easy to read. You want it to be accessible and most of all, make it so much better for SEO. Now in this world, we hear a lot about sections and containers and you're going to hear about divs as well. But how do you know what you should use or not? It's quite easy to fall or make the mistake whereby you kind of go, well, sections are divs aren't they and a container is a div and some of them have particular styling so why don't I just do a div within a div within a div and then I'll modify the div to behave like a section and another div to be like a container your divs are components inside of your section let, let's imagine a section is a box and that box serves a purpose. You might have a page with five sections on there. Every section may have a header. Well, to be honest, they should have a header because what you're saying is this is what this is for. Maybe it's to tell you about services. We have another section about the team members, another section about contacting me. Basically, the section is a box. It contains your toys and the toys are your text your images and everything else that I've just mentioned. Now, if the items in that section are relatable to one another, so if you have a section for team members and you now have the team member faces or their descriptions, you don't really need to worry about a div. You can use a section and you can use layouts like row or column or wrapping and items like that. And you can keep it pretty simple. You could even have a section that's full of uh, logos or a carousel or something. That would just be a section. If within the section, you then wanted to do something a little bit different, like maybe it had a slightly different layout or different components, which they are considered relatable, but they are almost their own entity in themselves. That's where a div kicks in. So you got your box that contains all your toys. But inside of that box, you have another little box which now contains your toy soldiers. If you were to just put the toy soldiers into the box, they would get scattered and fall over the place. You've got your image, your text and your toy soldiers everywhere. By adding in a div into the toy box, you can now take the box out and it's got all your toy soldiers. Everything is in one place. It's all about organisation. So if you want to build a website where you got div within a div within a div, you can get away with that. But it's far better to do sections. I mean, inside of there, if you want to have a particular container, which would be a div anyway, you can do that. I hope that helped to clarify. So think of the toy box and the toy soldiers inside another box. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. We're right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.